You understand? First of all, me, I will say I, will, I pray to God that I will never marry somebody like that woman. First of all, now know me, I go straight and direct. Now, you, she's coming online to say she does not have access. Did she tell why the family, they are said, Mr. Ibu himself does not trust her with money? We are talking about a woman that when we, when they started uh, contributing that money online, when that money got to 40 million naira, do you know what that woman did? That woman called and said that, uh, that it's time for her to, that they should buy her an iPhone 15. Your husband did for sick bed. Then they try to make decision whether in leg or go, whether in here, especially where pick buy. You say they no buy your iPhone 15. The woman did not even stop there. She said, and eh, she's still a young lady that they should give her some money out of the money so that she can go and take care of herself. That she needs to brush up her body. That she wants to go and do nyash. Everybody was like, wait, madam. Your husband they sick bed. See what you they use your mouth to talk. Cause the long story short, this woman they gave her some money. They gave her one million dollar for upkeep for her child. You understand? She and her children. She removed the side of money, go buy all this pad, all this fake nyash. They wear and come hospital. She did not tell the public that one. Secondly, a man came to the hospital to come and see Mr. Ibu. When the man got to the hospital, he was trying to meet Mr. Ibu. The woman refused the man. You understand that? No, no, no. He does not want to see anybody. At the end of the day, she finally let the man. When the man went and saw Mr. Ibu, you understand? He now wanted to transfer money to the accounts that people were contributing in. Mr. Ibu's wife said that Access Bank account was not working. That they should transfer it to our account. That was how that man transferred that money to our account. God so kind. The man now transferred the receipts to Jasmine. When transferred the receipt to Jasmine, Jasmine now even sent it to me that ah, look at what Mr. Ibu's wife is doing. You understand? Now, when they sent it, the man was now, they now told the man that ah, that he shouldn't have sent it there. The man said, Does he want them to collect the money back from Mr. Ibu's wife? But in order for people not to say one or two things, let it not be as if the family are not together. Jasmine told the man that the man should not worry. You understand? Now, know me and evidence. Everything while I talk yourself, if I finish, maybe the woman say a lie. The municipal's wife is coming online now to talk about money. So, my lovely people, oh, hmm, this matter, you don't tie a tie rapper. So, as you all know, that a uh, um, few days ago, via this lover, okay, a friend of Jasmine. The daughter of Miss Tibu reached out to Gis Lover telling Gis Lover about uh, what Mr. Ibu's wife has been doing since the donation money has been coming in. That the woman requested that they buy her iPhone 15 and they also buy her a car and the rest. Okay, and yesterday she came out to debunk all those news saying that Jasmine wants to take over her. I want to make her an outsider in her home that that will not happen. Okay, and she wrote a lot of things to debunk what happened. That actually, that the one million naira that uh, they said that someone paid into her account instead of the normal donation account was uh, at the authorization of her husband, Mr. Ibu. So, guys, um, if you guys could remember, when this issue surfaced, I said in my video that Very Dark Man has said something regarding this before, when they come out Mr. Ibu leg. He come and talk, say, many people, where they around Mr. Ibu, they just want something for their bag, their pockets. Say they, they failed this man. He said that, but that is not in his position to say the things he has seen. So I said... From the his tone, that means something is not all right. So, guys, that's how this thing happened. So, this is him coming out to say one or two things because he has visited them. Or should I say rather, um, he was there. He visited Mr. Ibu while he was in Lagos on David Doe's invitation. You guys could remember he was among the people that called out AGN and even from his platform solicited for funds to help our legend, Mr. Ibu. So he's giving us information from what he saw at the hospital and everything. Say this, Mr. Ibu wife. As as Mr. Ibu never they still never come out the leg as the ocean they come out the woman they demand say all this thing where they write about and say not true the one wavers and pass say the woman they ask they wear fake nash they come say she they need to give her money to take care of herself she's still young and the rest she, he said a lot of things honestly and he's saying boldly like when I know him now you know they fear anybody talk say he pray not to marry this kind of woman now so he talk. And, I know, uh -huh. and also the part of Mr. Ibu not authorizing the wife to have access to that donation account. I said it in my live video. For him not to do that, that means the woman cannot be trusted with the fund. For him to not to authorize the wife. And um, very dark man is also saying that it's not even Jasmine that has the authorization to the account. It's Mr. Ibu's son. The other one that we saw the last time um, Mr. Ibu's wife called out Jasmine that lived in Aja that braids her, something like that. 
my people now so it be i'll just leave you guys to listen to the rest of the conversation after that i would love to know what you think about this whole thing going on they, you know they should um, they should just let this man get to her first i don't know all these things honestly all right so mr ebu i saw this thing on insta blog and i've seen it on other blogs mr ebu wife said the millions that they contributed it has been hijacked by somebody by a stranger referring to jasmine and on the other hand you understand she said they did not give her access to the money first of all you understand i didn't want to say all these things all the things i know about this whole thing but i think it's time to just clear the public you understand first of all me i would say i, will, I pray to god that i will never marry somebody like that woman first of all now know me they go straight and direct now she's coming online to say she does not have access did she tell why the family they are said mr ibu himself does not trust her with money we are talking about a woman that when we when they start uh, contributing that money online when that money got to 40 million naira, do you know what that woman did that woman called and said that, uh, that it's time for her to that they should buy an iphone 15. your husband did for sick bed then they try to make decision whether in leg or go whether in here especially where pick buy you say they don't buy you iphone 15. the woman did not even stop there she said and uh, she's still a young lady that they should give her some money out of the money so that she can go and take care of herself that she needs to brush up her body that she wants to go and do nyash Everybody was like, wait, madam, your husband, they see bed. See what you, they use your mouth, they talk. Cut the long story short. This woman, they gave her some money. They gave her one million there for upkeep for her child. You understand? She and her children. She removed inside that money, go buy all this pad, all this fake nyash. They wear and come hospital. She did not tell the public that one. Secondly, a man came to the hospital to come and see Mr. Ibu. When the man got to the hospital, he was trying to meet Mr. Ibu. The woman refused the man. You understand that? No, no, no. He does not want to see anybody. At the end of the day, she finally let the man. When the man went and saw Mr. Ibu, you understand? He now wanted to transfer money to the accounts that people were contributing in. Mr. Ibu wife said that Access Bank account was not working. That they should transfer it to her account. That was how that man transferred that money to her account. God's so kind. The man now transferred the receipts to Jasmine. When transferred the receipt to Jasmine, Jasmine now even sent it to me that, ah, look at what Mr. Ibu's wife is doing. You understand? Now, when they sent it, the man was now, they now told the man that, ah, that he shouldn't have sent it there. The man said, does he want them to collect the money back from his stable wife? But in order for people not to say one or two things, let it not be as if the family are not together, Jasmine told the man that the man should not worry. You understand? Now, know me and evidence. Everything I'll talk yourself. If I finish, let the woman say a lie. The disciple's wife is coming online now to talk about money. Did she talk about the cars that she sold? Did she talk about when she told Mr. Ibu that they should sell their house in Aja? That they should sell it for 44 million and she will not receive anything less than 25 million out of 44 million? Did she talk about how Mr. Ibu left their mansion and went to Ibadan and be staying with somebody inside the one room? You know what it means say your husband leave you for house? If they fear you, he run. Go stay with person. When wife get the left side one room, he they sleep on top chair. I'm not talking about any other person. I'm talking about Mr. Ibu. Did she talk about all these parts? Even in that hospital, did she talk about how Mr. Ibu did not want to see her? Mr. Ibu said he does not want her to come close to him. Did she talk about all these parts? She came online. She was talking blah, blah, blah. I see a lot of comments. I just started to the laugh. Now, when they wanted to, the surgery that he did for Mr. Ibu, that they, they wanted to do another surgery for blood uh, testing, whatever thing. They needed somebody from the family to sign. Mr. Ibu's wife refused to sign because she said because the doctor told them that it was a 50 50 thing she refused to sign and then she said that um that ah that she does not want to sign though because if anything happened the whole are responsible instead she was looking for jasmine to come and sign do you understand this same money that she's talking about that jasmine is in charge of the money jasmine does not have one error in charge of that money it's mr Ibu's son that is in charge of the money mr Ibu's second son that is in charge of that money they went to the police station mr ibu told the dpo of the police station in lagos Aja area that he wants his son to be the one to handle that money anything sending money and receiving money do you understand that money got to a hundred million but now how much remain for the money money where they sit the man see the hospital like this they see they tried no one or two things but the leg that went out alone is not even part of it that one a secondary case they still have another problem inside they are saying the man get diabetes, the man said no get diabetes. He doesn't have diabetes. I don't forget to call him in this thing. Now, all these things I'm saying, there are a lot of proof. How about her brother that told Jasmine when that money got to 40 million that Jasmine and him and Mr. Ibu wife should share the money four ways? Did she talk about all this one? Mr. Ibu wife, you better come out this on a matter online. You understand? Secondly, one thing I just want to say is um, 
we contributed that money i brought my own platform out to talk about that money and make people contribute because my mr Igu name did here they don't contribute money for your family members they contribute money because they once made a legend stand up it is not for you it is not for your upkeep your husband they sick bed they say me they go buy you moto your husband they sick bed say me they go buy you moto your husband they sick bed say you won't do nyash your husband they sick bed say me they buy you iphone 15. best way be saying your husband they sick bed Tell them why Mr. Ibu no wants you for two years. Why too often no talk? When did they run from house? Like.